Hey, what's up guys? Cotton here. And uh, the big T updates here. I could finally play it, I think. Uh, I wasn't able to play on the test servers, and I tried last night. Servers were down, so I heard it came up this morning, but I was at work, so here I am now. I log in, I have almost 700,000 credits, which is pretty cool. And I don't know, I was going to go through my little adventure here of trying to remod my weapons first, just to feel this out, because they changed a lot of the weapon mods, the ammunition, like everything's different now. So yeah, I'm going to start by looking at my sniper here. In case you haven't noticed, you can't just click the weapon anymore to hit upgrade. You have to actually click your repair button. In there it says upgrade. So let's look at this here. Triggers. Alright, so you have a minus and a plus for all your stats. Why do all these triggers suck for the sniper rifle? What is this? It's all stability rate of fire. Or you lose precision for rate of fire. I don't care about firing it faster. What is this? Hmm. I think I might skip the trigger. Light and spring. Heavy bolt is the only one that actually adds damage. Did they do away with one hit kill? Is that what happened here? And for the cost, you lose precision, stability, and rate of fire. Hmm. You lose range for rate of fire, you lose stability for... What's with all the rate of fire? I don't... Give a shit less. See this when you gain stability for the loss of rate of fire, but you need the damage. Before I buy anything, I'm gonna flip through them all, see what they do. No sights, but, you know, kinda makes sense because there's a scope on it. It never made sense to modify it before. Stainless steel barrel, you gain range, lose stability. Chrome molly, you gain range and damage. Octagon, you gain range and damage. And scout 2, you gain range and damage. So obviously for sniper, right off the bat, it looks like scout 2 is your best choice. You gain the range and damage, and you only lose the stability. You're not also losing precision. Precision is where your bullets land. You want to try to keep that unaltered or increased, if anything. So, man, 56,000, jeez. How much does the other ones cost? 71 for the chrome. Oh, but the damage modifiers are different now. Ah, make sure you click and look at all this. The scout evens out your damage through range, whereas the molly, you have much more close range damage for some reason. It drops off, well, it starts dropping off around 150, 200 meters. Hmm. I don't know if I like any of these mods. This is, and now we're back to trigger already. Ammunition must be on a separate block. Well, here we go. This is obviously your sniper ammo. Oh, look at how cheap the ammo is now. Please tell me that's for real. Maybe no more five, six thousand dollar sniper repair bills after every match. That'd be nice. So this one only gives you damage at the loss of range, precision, and stability. This one's more of an overall damage. This one's even a cheap, okay. So you only lose stability with this Anschutz Patron, yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. But you gain the damage range and precision, you're only losing stability. Looks like this is our sniper ammo, so I'll buy that right off the bat. Equip. Alright, so... I really didn't like any triggers. There's nothing... I don't understand why they all want to give me rate of fire. There's no good option for the sniper rifle. I don't want to lose stability. I don't want to lose precision to make my rifle shoot faster. I, it's a bolt action. What are we talking about here? All right, so heavy spring, we can actually tone down rate of fire for stability. Heavy bolt is our damage, but we lose stability and precision. I could give a shit about the rate of fire. Light and spring, sacrifice range for, no. No. So it's either heavy bolt or heavy spring. 
It looks like it's going to be the heavy bolt, though. That's a decent damage increase on it. Let's do it up. Now, is it going to show me with all the parts what it's doing? Because it didn't do that before. Alright. Only gain range for stability loss. Chrome Molly. Oof. That Chrome Molly, that's where the damage is at right there. The precision loss doesn't look... I mean, it is increasing that spread rate a bit, but it doesn't look horrible. See, the Scout looks like the barrel you'd want to choose. But look at the damage difference between that and, like, the Octagon, and especially the Chrome Molly. Hmm. The Octagon's also cheaper than the Scout. Looks like I'm gonna have to go with the Chrome Molly. Spend the big money, you know. The triggering, I still don't like it. I I really think I'm gonna run it without a trigger. I already heard on Reddit people complaining that when you mod your rifles for one hit kill now that you get this incredible sway, like it's almost impossible to use them. Which is, I guess, their attempt to balance the game. Too many people complaining about one-hit rifles. Now they're just unusable. But the trigger does not modify damage at all. It's just gonna... You're just gonna lose accuracy and stability to shoot it a bit faster. I really don't care. Yeah, these are horrible. No trigger. Here's what we're running on the rifle now. We'll test it out. My damage is over a hundred, you see right here? Technically a one hit kill. If they have heavy set gold, I might be in trouble. Heavy set bronze, I can probably drop them. Silver, it'll be a toss up. I'm really not sure. So let's see. Hey, I can mod the noisy cricket now, look at that. <laughs> here come the man in black. All right. Loose stability for rate of fire, or loose precision for rate of fire. Uh, again, these triggers are kind of worthless to me. This little gun already shoots pretty fast. It, I don't know if it's worth it to lose all that stability. Now here we go. Look at these internals. So we can gain stability for loss of rate of fire, and vice versa. We can lose range for rate of fire, but look at this right here. You can gain damage and range for loss of rate of fire. You see, this is where I'll buy that, and then if the rate of fire is uncomfortable, then go back and buy the trigger to turn the rate of fire back up. But this is probably worth the damage gain. And the range gain. The drop-off is a lot better. For someone like me, he uses a pistol a lot. This is a nice... Okay, I'm buying that one. The heavy bolt. Noisy Cricket with the Heavy Bolt. Sights. Oh, that's cool. Both sights are a plus. There's no negative to them. Let me see. Why does match sight cost twice as well? Oh, because it's much more. That's a pretty tight circle. I'm going to buy the match sights. That looks worth it. The barrel here. We got Chrome Line and Stainless Steel. Both with the same drawbacks. You gain range, but you lose stability. Stability is how far off center your crosshair will be knocked after you shoot. Hmm. You know, I'm just I'm gonna go with this chrome line. The range increase, albeit small, it's still something. Let me check it. Yeah. We can cross damage after 75 meters at decent. I'll go with the chrome lined. I usually go all out for my recon. He's I love this. He's like my spoiled class. The other characters would get gimped when I go broke buying all the recon gear. So again, these triggers. I'm going to try it without a trigger. See how it goes. Alright, so here's where I'm confused. I thought the patch was removing the PPSH from everybody non-Russian. Apparently, if you already had it, you get to keep it. But, 
I can't mod mine. I don't know if you can mod the ones the Russians can buy, because I heard this gun was moddable now. Mine is not, maybe because it's grandfathered in, it must remain factory stock. But that's also weak, because it has a repair bill now. Why would it have a repair bill if I can't mod it? See again, my American character still has his PPSH. And again, I can't upgrade it, but it has a repair bill, or at least the option to repair it. So I guess maybe they just added overall durability to all weapons, regardless of they're modded or not. But I don't remember reading any of this, like uh, the patch notes are so sketchy. And here's another thing, I thought they were taking away the sniper rifles from infantry. Apparently if you had one you get to keep it, you just can't buy them anymore for infantry. My infantry actually still has his rifle and it should still be equipable. Let me take off everything he has. Where is it? Yep. Oh yeah. So that's cool, they actually let us keep it if we had it. I won't even bother modding my Thompson or anything right now because I'm just going to use my PPSH. I want to use it for now until I figure out exactly where I need money, plus I'm going to need money for all these tanks I'm trying to buy. Here's a funny little tidbit, like, I don't remember when it was, maybe two years ago, MMO Bomb was doing a giveaway, and I remember entering the code, and my infantry didn't get the SMG or the grenades that you were supposed to get. I come to find out, like, months later, they're here on my recon. You can't actually see it here, but if you look here, you can see the MMO Bomb on there, and I also have the MMO Bomb grenades, they have a little... Again, they don't show it here, but in-game you'll see it. There's like a little eyeball thing or something on the head of it. And they're on my recon. I hardly... I don't think I've ever used them. They just sit here. I snipe only on him. But, what can you do? I guess it just transferred to the wrong character. Or maybe I had him selected when I entered the code. Could have been my bad, but... My recon's pretty spoiled. Okay, now I also thought they said... They were giving camouflage multiple levels. I guess they're not doing that yet. This still only controls Gilly. You need... Like, it's, it takes so long to max out the recon ribbon. Like, uh, who has the time? And so it looks like they gave me a free Russian character. We're gonna have to rename that. What is this? The SVT-40. What can we do to this thing? Field trigger job, you can only make it faster. <laughs> Again, you can only modify rate of fire for loss of stability. You gain some precision with the sight, that's cool. You can only gain range for loss of stability. It's weird when they talked about the new mod system. They talked about it was going to be simpler. I don't see it as simpler. It feels very restricted. Many of the mods are doing the exact same thing that the previous ones do and now your selection is so limited. It's almost like they're saying stop modding guns to do this. They're supposed to be used this way so do it like that. It's a little strange but we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll expand on that. They'll add more. We can finally mod the FG-42. What have we got here? The only trigger makes it faster for loss of stability. It's already crazy, like, with the rate of fire. It's, like, why? Oh my god. These mods don't make sense. Okay, this is a nice mod for it, the heavy bolt. It could definitely lose some rate of fire. I don't like the stability loss. It's already hard enough to aim, but heavy spring might be a better way to go for a more stable weapon. One sight, fine. One barrel that only adds damage and range. What's the point? Man, I really hope for more for the FG-42. I don't like this at all. I'm not going to put a trigger on it to lose stability. 
Mm. I'll probably heavy bolt it because I like a challenge. I don't mind the little bit of loss and stability, but the damage gain is nothing. Look at it. What are you gaining? One damage, two damage a bullet? These these mods are so minute, they're not doing anything. I'll buy it and pray for another refund, I guess. The site's a no-brainer. Gives you a tighter... See, why, why do they do that? They give you only one option. It's like, this is better, use it. Thanks. But I have to spend money. I guess the barrel you can't argue with. You get free range and damage for no loss, so that's an instant grab. So it looks like I don't like the trigger. Okay. We can gain damage and lose everything else. No thank you. This ammo just seems so good. This and shoots Patron. The ammo looks reasonably cheap compared to the last patch. Uh, I don't want to lose the precision. I guess I'll lose a little bit of stability. This trigger. I don't. I don't want to trigger it. I don't need no more stability loss. From 4:30. No, it's no thank you. Okay. Ooh, the dreaded MG42. Uh, I'm almost afraid to look, you know. They're gonna give me only rate of fire, the last thing it needs. It's already at 900 RPMs. So. The only trigger <laughs> is more loss of stability for higher rate of fire. Uh, okay. It doesn't need the rate of fire. It doesn't need any more. This is this is automatically off my list for the MG42 light and spring that's gone. Heavy spring, maybe. Just to stabilize it. But if you want more damage and range out of it, it looks like again that heavy bolt wins. You already own one of do you what huh? What's it talking about? I already own the weapon upgrade. You already own one or more of this upgrade. Do you wish to proceed? Can I pull it off another gun and put it on this gun? Is that what it's telling me? So let's, let's unequip the heavy bolt. Go to the MG42. That's a cool feature now, okay. All of your attachments are separate. You can move them between weapons. That's pretty cool. I like that feature because now I don't have to even buy MG42 parts. I can pull them off the FG42. Well, let me make sure. Some might differ. No, there's only a sight. Barrels. Oh, that's a cool feature. I like that then. I plan on using my FG42 before the MG42, so I'm going to re-equip that with the bolt. Well done, Reto. I really wish I could mod this PPSH. I hope... I don't think I can, though, because it was grandfathered in. But yeah, I mean, that's how I would mod my weapons. I would balance them out more. You know, take away the rate of fire when needed. I gave some examples here. I just... Hope it helps you guys out in understanding what they're doing here with the mods and everything. I'm sure some of this will change in time. Again, it's, you know, it's still beta, it's a new build. So, all this is subject to change, but I hope I just help you understand a bit more how to mod your weapons. And, uh, that's about it, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.